the evening, uh, I have to start in Polish. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great sadness to me that I'm not standing here with my five Polish friends. Just when, they, just when the stars lined up, they, 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 they all fell apart. But they, they send their greetings. They're hoping to be, to be over here with six of us as Polish poles apart at some time. But um, just join in with this one when you can, all right? Więc nie robi zapał i nie właś na maść. Może być już statyk ten, the step nearest was. Te pakły swoje łakę i nie lądzie gnaty złóż. Że glażę mnie, że glażę mnie, że gram. Że będziesz więcej już na ryzyku. Don't fall on the road, don't climb up the mast. If you see a sailor ship, it might be a last. Just get your civvies ready for another run ashore. A sailor ain't a sailor, ain't a sailor anymore. Well, my father often told me when I was just a lad, a sailor's life was very hard, the food was always bad. But now I've joined the Navy, I'm on board a man of war. And now I find a sailor ain't a sailor anymore. Don't haul on the rope, don't climb up the mast. If you see a sailing ship, it might be your last. Just get your civvies ready for another run ashore. A sailor ain't a sailor ain't a sailor anymore. Well, they gave us a killick of our mess. He says we've had it soft. It wasn't like this in his day when he was up aloft. We like our bunks and sleeping bags, but what's a hammock for? Swinging from the deck head or lying on the floor? Don't haul on the rope, don't climb up the mast. If you see a sailing ship, it might be your last. Just get your civvies ready for another run ashore. A sailor ain't a sailor ain't a sailor anymore. An engine that first went up and down, then with more technology the engine went around. We know our steam and diesel, but what's a main yard for? A stoker ain't a stoker with a shovel anymore. Don't pull on the rope, don't climb up the mast. If you see a sailing ship, it might be your last. Just get your civvies ready for another run ashore. A sailor ain't a sailor. Then they gave us an oldest lamp, we can do it right. They gave us a radio, we signal day and night. We know our codes and ciphers, but what's a semaphore? A bunch and tosser doesn't toss a bunch in anymore. Don't fall on the rope, don't climb up the mast. If you see a sailing ship, it might be your last. Just get your civvies ready for another run ashore. A sailor ain't a sailor ain't a sailor anymore. Then they gave us a radar set to pierce the fog. <laughs> I, I, I have to be very careful with this next line because I have to delineate. They gave us a radar set to pierce the fog and gloom, all right? It's just fog, it's three separate words, all right? But, but th this, this, this actually is the, is the latest written, this, this verse came along 20 years after the song, it was a bit tardy, and, I, and really I have to tell you why, why it got written. You see, I used to introduce this song with my tongue firmly in my cheek, as a mock shanty, a, if you will, a radar set mending shanty. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I did that in Halifax, Nova Scotia one time, and at the end of the show, a guy comes up to me and starts poking me in the chest. And uh, you always like that, don't you? <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and he said, here, he said, uh, not quite in that accent, but he said, here, he said, I am a radar technician in the Royal Canadian Navy, and you introduced that as a radar set mending shanty, and you never sang a bleeding thing about radar sets. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, there, there was absolutely nothing about that that I could argue with. <laughs> so I thought I'd, be, I'd better write a, a radar set 
you know, radar set verse. And then I thought back to a time, although I spent most of my 24 years in the Royal Navy in diesel submarines, there was a time when I was on board a large uh, surface unit called HMS Intrepid, which was a, uh, a, an assault ship, which, which so a, a dock, which, which sort of floated up and down and, and, and sent out uh, assault craft with tanks and, and marines in them and things like that. Um, but we weren't always doing that, and it was a perfect, so it turned out, it was a perfect floating test bed for experimental prototype radars. And there was a time when I was on board, and for weeks and weeks and months even, uh, what was happening was we would be in Portsmouth Dockyard, and all the, um, all the civilian contractors and the, and the boffins would come on board, and they would rip out the, uh, the, a, a radar set from, from, from somewhere down the bowels of the ship, and dis, disassemble the radar array at the top of the mast, and put in new ones that they wanted to test. And then we'd go out into the channel, and we'd, uh, we'd sail up and down on, on A to B, B to A, uh, just testing out the radar. And, uh, and then we'd come in, and they'd do it all again. They'd, they'd rip out that one, put it in another one. But there was one time we went to sea with this brand new prototype experimental radar, and uh, it turned out that it had a, an insoluble and intractable problem. It was every time they turned on this really expensive multi-million pound kit, they switched it on and it promptly blew itself up. To, in order so it seemed to protect a little 10 pence fuse that was in the system. And, and, and they, they, kept, they kept trying to make it work and kept, and we were out there for much longer and, and sailing up and down on this B to A, A to B uh, thing. And, then there was one time when I was actually coming off the middle watch. It was just after four in the morning, and to get to my mess, I had to go past the radar maintainer's workshop. And I was just there at just the right time. They were going to have another test. So I thought, I'm going I'm to hang around and see if this happens. I'll keep my fingers crossed for them, poor buggers. Because they've been working away like, like dogs on this thing, and they're getting, they're getting nowhere, maybe this time. So, and this is what happened. I was outside the office listening in, and you heard... Uh, Radar on bridge. Radar room, sir. <coughs> Stand by to test the radar. Stand by to test the radar. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Wait for my order. Stand by. Switch on the radar. Switch on the radar! Aye, aye, sir! Click! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> and there was, there was smoke and sparks everywhere, you know? <coughs> and, and, and then you heard just... Radar room bridge? <laughs> radar room, sir! Did it happen again? <laughs> Yes, sir. Happened again. <laughs> oh, bugger. <laughs> How's the fuse? <laughs> fuse is fine, sir. Perfect. Another ten pence saved on the defence budget. <laughs> And yeah, we, we, never, we never actually did get that fixed, and finally had to sail in, rip the thing out, and throw it on the scrap heap. Your taxes at work, or mine anyway. And, uh, but, but there was a thing that I realised afterwards. At no point, whilst they were trying to get this thing working, did they ever sing a sea shanty. <laughs> Well, they gave us a radar set to pierce the fog and gloom. So now the lookout sitting in a tiny darkened room. The Randall's navigation, the sonar says how deep. The Jimmy's three sheets to the wind, the skipper's fast asleep. Don't haul up the rope, don't climb up the mast. If you see a sailing ship, it might be your last. Just get your cities ready for another run ashore. A sailor ain't a sailor ain't a sailor anymore. Good, two cans of beer a day and that's your bleeding lot. 
Well, now we get an extra two because they stopped the tot. So we'll put on our city clothes and find a pub ashore. A sailor's still a sailor, just like he was before. Don't fall on the rope, don't climb up the mast. If you see a sailor ship, it might be a last. Just get your civvies ready for another run ashore. A sailor ain't a sailor.